the parade of graduates approaches, we salute the states and territories whose sons and daughters will graduate today. Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maryland, South Carolina, New Hampshire, Virginia, New York, North Carolina, Rhode Island, Vermont, Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio, Louisiana, Indiana, Mississippi, Illinois, Alabama, Maine, Missouri, Arkansas, Michigan, Florida, Wisconsin, California, Minnesota, Oregon, Kansas, West Virginia, Nevada, Nebraska, Colorado, North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, Washington, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona, Alaska, Hawaii, District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, Guam, American Samoa, Northern Mariana Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands. State, flags, order, arms. And now we invite you to join the staff of Recruit Training Command in welcoming the graduating divisions with your applause as they enter Midway Showroom in the Grill Hall and are announced in the following order.
Today's graduate informal unit is Division 9. Two, one. Division 921 provides the state flag, color guard, and drum line units for today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. Thank you. Divisions, right, face, section leaders, fall out and collect outer guards. Divisions, counter, march. Attention, please. For the remainder of the review, no one will be permitted to pass in front of the review stand, and we ask this as a courtesy to our reviewing officer. Photography is certainly encouraged, but we ask that you remain seated and off the drill deck. The photographers you will see on deck throughout the review are the official photographers of Recruit Training Command.
Division commanders, left or right, face, parade, rest. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Lieutenant Josh Jones, Recruit Training Command's Drill Division Officer. I would like to welcome you to today's pass and review. Today you will see seven divisions comprised of 558 sailors participating in their graduation ceremony and soon to join the most powerful Navy in the world. Please draw your attention to the unit position at center deck. There is the review commander and staff. The review commander is responsible for conducting the graduation ceremony. Today's review commander is seaman recruit Jalen Forbes from Dallas, Texas. Let's give him a hand, folks. Performing today is the staff unit on their seventh week of training, the triple threat unit on their ninth week of training, and the state flags unit on their 10th and final week of training. These units are comprised entirely of recruits. During their night of arrival, recruits are placed into divisions of 88 personnel and assigned division commanders. Recruit division commanders form the backbone of recruit training and are key individuals in the life of every recruit. Division commanders must serve as counselors, disciplinarians, administrators, and military leaders. Above all, they must show themselves as outstanding examples of military bearing, appearance, attitude, and behavior. Each division also has a recruit chief petty officer. This senior recruit supervises the divisional staff positions and leads the division in the absence of their division commanders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduating divisions, their division commanders, and recruit chief petty officers. As I introduce each division, they will raise the competitive flags that they have earned throughout their training. As I introduce each recruit chief petty officer, the flag representing their home state will also be raised. Please hold your applause until all introductions have been completed. I will be starting from their right. Division 107, commanded by Chief Petty Officer Passion Richmond. Petty Officer for Second Class, Brandon Bridges. Petty Officer Second Class, Jeremy Jackson. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Recruit Connor Fuste from Brooklyn, Michigan. Division 108. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Bruce Thompson. Petty Officer First Class, Donald Bray. Petty Officer First Class, Oscar Fisher. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Apprentice Karan Woodard from Plant City, Florida. Division 109. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Lydia Gutierrez. Petty Officer First Class, Rayvon Dyer. Petty Officer Second Class, Adam Colocha. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Recruit, Kristen Flores from Anaheim, California. Division 110. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer, Jacqueline Denler. Petty Officer First Class, Rebecca Anderson. Petty Officer Second Class, Arrington Jenkins. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Airman Marimar Ramos Lopez from Kissimmee, Florida. Division 111. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer, Mona Thompson. Petty Officer First Class, Nicholas Fields. Petty Officer First Class, Manuel Garcia. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Terry Page from Basildon, Essex. Division 1, 1, 2. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class, Tyler Kusek. Petty Officer First Class, Nashira Washington. Petty Officer Second Class, James Tamer. 
and the recruit chief petty officer, fireman apprentice Jonathan Marin from Inglewood, California. Division nine, two, one. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Brent Byerly. Petty Officer First Class Joseph Nieves. Petty Officer Second Class Carla Morales Avinia. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Madison Landman from Templeton, California. On behalf of the commanding officer and staff of Recruit Training Command, we congratulate these division commanders and recruit chief petty officers on a job well done. In a moment, you will see the ceremonial sideboards, boats in an honor guard, take their places for arrival honors. This time-honored tradition is our formal greeting to this morning's reviewing officer. When requested by the announcer, please stand for the arrival honors, marching on of the colors, the national anthem, and the invocation. As a reminder, military guests shall remain covered throughout the entire graduation ceremony. And ladies and gentlemen, one final note. As befitting the importance of this occasion, our ceremony is conducted in a formal manner. However, we do encourage you to participate in today's graduation ceremony by letting your applause show these sailors just how proud of them you are. Once again, welcome aboard. Will the guests please rise and remain standing for the arrival of the official party?
Carrier Strike Group 15, arriving. Guests may be seated. Will the guests please rise? Present arms.
said. Art. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, on this momentous day, we are filled with gratitude and praise. We thank you for these brave men and women who have answered the call on their life to serve, serving our nation with honor, courage, and commitment. We ask for your continued presence and guidance as they embark on this new season and journey as sailors. May they be strengthened and empowered to uphold the values of duty, loyalty, and selflessness. Help guide them to be war fighters of character who embody the highest ideals of integrity, resilience, and excellence. May they always remember the sacrifices of those who have gone before them and be inspired to carry on the legacy of service with humility and honor. We pray that you would bless each one of them with good health, safety, and success in all the endeavors that they put their hands to. May their families and loved ones be comforted and supported, knowing that their sailors are in your loving and providential care. As we hear the words of the Navy hymn, Eternal Father, may it serve as a reminder of the ever-present protection offered in the hour of danger whenever we find ourselves, whether it be land or sea. And in your holy name I pray. Today's events show how order passed through the chain of command.
Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to your Navy Quarterdeck. I'm Captain Ken Frober, Commanding Officer of Recruit Training Command. And I'd like to welcome all our family and friends attending this graduation here today and those watching live from around the world. Joining us today is our reviewing officer, Rear Admiral William Daly, Commander Carrier Strike Group 15. I'd also like to acknowledge staff of our fleet sponsors, USS Gabrielle Giffords, LCS 10 Blue, sponsoring Division 109, USS New Orleans LPD-18, sponsoring Division 110, and the Navy Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps from Zion Benton Township High School in Zion, Illinois. Our fleet sponsor program allows recruits to connect with sailors and Navy commands around the world for valuable mentoring and motivation while here at RTC. I would also like to welcome all our veterans here today. Thank you for your dedicated service for our country. Will all our veterans please stand so we can give you a round of applause. Thank you for your service to our country. Division 921 graduates today. There are state flags in it, providing 50 state flags, District of Columbia, and U.S. Territory uh, flags, drum corps, and color guard. Please join me in giving them and the six other outstanding graduating divisions a round of applause for outstanding performance. The Staff of Recruit Training Command is committed to providing the United States Navy with basically trained, physically fit, smartly disciplined sailors, such as those standing before you here today. These sailors have completed 10 rigorous weeks of demanding training and have earned the right to wear the uniform recognized around the world as a symbol of freedom. I would also like to take a moment to introduce you, your family, and friends to your new Navy family. As you reconnect with your sailor here shortly and learn about your new resources, we invite you to our public-facing website to check out more about the Great Lakes and worldwide opportunities. Search Navy Boot Camp, Navy Family to learn more about your resources. Today's graduates serve as the bedrock of our naval forces and will join other American sailors around the world to defend freedom and liberty against those who are threatened. I can say with pride this training group is ready to graduate. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you 558 of the newest, sharpest sailors in the United States Navy. and physical fitness. These flags are carried as a visible symbol of the division's success. Each flag indicates that your sailors individually and as teams met performance standards in one or more mission area events. A division that exceeds basic requirements in these areas during their training qualifies as a battle efficiency division and is awarded the battle E flag in recognition of their performance. Two divisions have earned this honor today and we congratulate them on a job well done. Any division that excels in every phase of training and earns all flags qualifies for the Chief of Naval Operations Honor Division recognition and is awarded the CNO Honor Flag for this exemplary achievement. This designation reflects a high degree of teamwork, morale, and esprit de corps, as well as the superb leadership of the division commanders. Two divisions have earned this honor today, and we congratulate them on the job exceptionally well done. Rear Admiral Daly will now present this week's individual award 
and he will be joined by the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Fogel. For achieving the highest overall academic score during her training, Seaman Thomas Sides, Division 108, from Houston, Texas, has earned the Academic Excellence Award, which is sponsored by the Fort Dearborn Chapter of the Illinois Society of the Sons of the American Revolution. Seaman Sides has received a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Extraordinary qualities best expressing the American spirit of honor, initiative, and loyalty. Seaman Damon Daniel Urban, Division 107, from Chisago City, Minnesota, has awarded the Navy League Award, which is sponsored by the Navy League of the United States. Seaman Urban is presented with a commemorative plaque and a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. from Alachua, Florida, is a, the winner of the United Service Organization Award for Best Exemplifying the Spirit and Intent of the Word Shipmate. Seaman Chestahovsky is given a commemorative plaque from the United Service Organization. Well done, sailor. Seaman Apprentice Damian Rose, Division 112, from St. Thomas, Jamaica, is the recipient of the Military Order of the World Wars Award of Merit. This award is presented for meritorious performance during recruit training. Seaman Apprentice Rose is presented with a commemorative plaque from the Military Order of the World Wars. Well done, sailor. Military Officers Association Leadership Award is presented to Fireman Diana Batista, Division 109, from Tarlock, Philippines, for demonstrating exceptional tenacity and professionalism. Fireman Batista is awarded a letter of commendation from our commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Seaman Apprentice Roy Rebus, Division 921 from San Diego, California, is the recipient of the Navy Club of the United States of America Military Excellence Award for best exemplifying the qualities of enthusiasm, devotion to duty, military bearing, and teamwork. This award places him at the pinnacle of today's sailors. He is awarded a flag of commendation. Seaman Apprentice Rebus, is the staff of Recruit Training Command salutes you as the finest of this group of graduates. Well done, sailor.
It is appropriate to recognize such outstanding individual accomplishments by these sailors with a round of three cheers. The adjutant will lead all graduating divisions in three cheers for this morning's award winners. Cruisers and destroyers, the backbone of our American Navy, and commanded the USS Farragut and the Little Beavers of Destroyer Squadron 23. Ashore, Rear Admiral Daly served on staffs of the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Chief of Naval Operations, U.S. European Command, and Commander of Pacific Fleet. He was the Chief of Staff for Commander Naval Surface Forces and Commander Naval Surface Force Pacific Fleet. He assumed his current role as Commander of Carrier Strike Group 15 in May 2023 a critical strike group that is responsible for certifying our strike groups and expeditionary strike groups that deploy out of our Pacific theater. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a warm recruit training command welcome to the Rebel Day. Okay, thank you, Kevin Fogel. So distinguished guests, families, and members of training group 21, Specifically, Divisions 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, and 921. I'm, I'm genuinely honored and in awe to be here today. And let me just say to all this training group, the command, RTC, that uh, you guys look sharp, you sound sharp, you feel sharp, you are sharp. I do want to give, out, give a, a shout out to the sailors who uh, do not have families here today. I talked to a lot of you last night, and uh, I'm here for you, uh, and I'm proud to be here for you. Okay, I'll start with some thanks and gratitude. And guys, we are really close. We're almost there. But first, uh, to the Recruit Training Command, specifically the Recruit Division Commanders, the instructors and the entire staff, thank you. I honor your dedication by telling you that every time you think about your job, every time you finish your day, you should feel instant satisfaction knowing you are building and shaping the most important part of our Navy. This is no assembly line of recruit divisions here at RTC. This is where you build the heart, the soul, and the eternal breath of America's war fighting Navy. I am certain you can feel it. Our Navy's heart beats strong with today's graduation. So to the RTC, your shipmates in the fleet are grateful for and impressed with everything you do here. Bravo Zulu RTC. To the families and friends here today, please accept my thanks and gratitude on behalf of your Navy. Your influence, your direction, your decision-making, your support, whatever form it took, intentional or unintentional, started your sailor on a journey that passes through today's historic ceremony. You are now connected to all of the families who have supported America's Navy, America's warfighting sailors since our Navy's birth on October 13, 1775. That's 249 years. And let me assure you, that the Navy values the critical relationship, the critical and special relationship with families. Strong, healthy families are not only behind our sailors, they are the fibers of this rich fabric of talent that you and America provide to our Navy. You are America, and today you are part of the Navy family. So I welcome you and I thank you. Okay, now we are really close. So, training group 21, I'm gonna wrap this up, but I wanna tell you one important thing. So, 
If your mind is wandering right now to Liberty Call or to reuniting with your cell phone, snap back with me for a second, okay? I'm gonna tell you one thing I want you to remember this. And the one thing I want you to hear from me is that we got your back. We got your back. Don't clap yet. What do I mean by that? First, your potential in the Navy is unlimited, and we want you to achieve that unlimited potential. So whatever your motivation, chasing a dream, devotion to country, a new job, future education plans, or even all of that combined, we want you to achieve that. Rest assured, the places you can live, the jobs you will do, the skills you will acquire, and the talented people with whom you will work, it's incredible, and it's all part of that exciting potential. Second, we got your back because we care about you. We simply care about you. We want you to succeed. We want you to have a high quality of life and a high quality of work. We want you to be excellent and to be part of a culture of excellence. We want to challenge ourselves, and we want to challenge you, and we want to master those challenges together. We want you to be yourself, but we also want you to be part of a winning team that is bigger than self. And we hold ourselves accountable, and we expect you to hold yourself accountable to the highest standards of honor, courage, commitment, respect for others, self-ownership, character development, and all the best of being a sailor in this great Navy. Remember those words of the Sailor's Creed that you read. Those are not memorization, those are a lie. Third and final, we got your back. Because as a United States sailor, you work for peace, but you're ready for combat. Straight from the red, white, and blue of that large flag above your heads, to those who want to terrorize in the Red Sea, to the whites of the eyes of those who would do our country harm, to the blue expanse of the oceans we sail. We got your back to make sure you prevail. We will train you, we will mentor you, we will challenge you, and we will win with you. You are now part of a noble Navy team that delivers powerful peace across the globe, responds to crisis every day, and will prevail in combat if called upon. I am your teammate, I am your shipmate. I care deeply about the mission, which means I care deeply about you succeeding in the mission. And I've worked with sailors for well over 30 years. And I mean, we got your back. I do want you to remember that. I'm proud of you today. I'm proud of your future, and I'm proud to be your shipmate. Congratulations, Training Group 21, and I will see you in the fleet. Thank you. receive the salute of the graduating divisions. You will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Frober. Please remain seated until your graduates have been placed on liberty.
Please join me in one more round of appreciation for our wonderful musicians of Navy Band Great Lakes. Flags. Post. Section leaders fall up and retrieve outer garments. Ladies and gentlemen, today is the only day for access to the Navy Exchange and photo pickup. Today and tomorrow, you can pick up your sailor at the Yorktown parking garage. Sailors going on Liberty without a vehicle are to exit gate 8 toward the train station parking lot. Thanks again to each and every one of you for joining us on this most memorable of Navy days. Now, without further delay, now hear this. Liberty Call! Liberty Call!